7 0 or 8 0 potentially opponent Ilya Tapuria. Buland in the blue, Tapuria in the grey. Oh, immediately in on the hips, and Buland, you know, after missing that spinning kick, was forced to try and re establish range quickly. Tapuria just diving in on the hips. And he's got the legs pinched very well together. And he's trying to strip the post of Bulan. But this is uh, exactly, exactly where the Spaniard wanted it. Or well, the Georgian, sorry. Uh, born in Georgia, fighting out of Spain currently. Big pick up and a big takedown for Tuporia. And Jack Shaw at cage side hasn't taken his eyes off the pout since the opening bell. Oh, beautiful stuff here from Bulan. Doesn't quite get out though. Oh, and he's to the back early. Again, this is what we've seen from him. You know, in scrambles, he's just that bit quicker. Bulan nearly reversing the position. He went north-south and rolled, and it's, it's a really good escape to have, but Tapuria was just that little bit quicker. Getting his black belt in May of this year, I believe, was Tapuria. So a recent acquisition, but he's he's been training and competing in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for a long time. And this is not where Brion Bouland needed to be oh, early looking. on. This is a great guillotine set up for, well, sorry, Das set up from here. Bouland's got to get some sort of frame back. Oh, Bouland in big trouble here. Yeah, the, anacond the, big the anaconda is deep. He sees walking his chin in. He's out, he's out. It's over! Wow! Ilya Tuporia chokes out Brian Boulon in the first round. What an Unbelievable! What an anaconda joke that was. His anaconda does want some. Oh my goodness! Unreal. I mean, look, Boulon tried to create a frame. He walks around, we'll see it on the replay. He just he kept going with him, and when he drove his chest up, just compressed the neck perfectly. I mean, that was clinical. Once he got in on the hips, Bulan never even got a shot off in that fight. Ilya Tuporia is the real deal. There's a lot of hype behind this young man, and some people were saying, well, why is he the favorite with the bookmakers? Why all this noise when, you know, he's really just had the five or, or, or eight pro fights, whichever way you look at it. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, this kid is the real deal. Let's take a look back at some of the action now as the spinning attack from Bulan went awry. And the reversal here, not quite getting what he wanted, ends up giving up the back to Taporia, who then locked in this Anaconda entry. And with the big squeeze. Yeah, I mean, he cinched this up so well and he, he just kept going and going. And you can see the compression there is, is, is unreal. I mean, look, I knew this guy was good when he got on your back, but that was, that was clinical. Phenomenal stuff from Ilya Tuporia. Doesn't get the title, but picks up a massive win well, here in Antwerp. I think he's going to be kicking himself, quite frankly. But you know what? I, I, there's a lot of guys I want to see this guy fight in this division now. That was, uh, you know, from a grappling perspective, that was hugely exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee calls a stop to this contest after uh, 1 minute and 13 seconds in round one declaring the winner by submission uh, does choke the winner is uh, Ilya Topuria Ilya Topuria with the big submission win here at Cage Warriors 94